regularly schedule council meeting of the Southern Shores Town Council for July the 16th is in order. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge Let's join together in a moment of silence. Thank you. Council, we have an agenda before us. What is your pleasure? Move that we approve the agenda as written. Presented. I have a I'll second. Say. All those in favor, aye. aye. Opposed, same sign. Council, the consent agenda. Routine items. Any comments, any questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. We have a, no discussion. All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. We have council under tab two, an application for a zoning text amendment. And we will first call on the town planner, Mr. Haskett, to give us a brief on this matter. Thank you, good, good morning, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. Uh, this morning you have an application in front of you, which is ZTA 13-03, which is an application from the Southern Shores Civic Association. And the requested action is to uh, amend the town zoning ordinance regarding section 36-175, wireless telecommunications sites and towers. Staff's analysis is that the applicant is proposing to amend section 36-175 C2H by adding language to allow for fences or walls to enclose telecommunications towers, their equipment structures, and equipment enclosures with a maximum height of 10 feet. Uh, the current ordinance specifically requires a chain link fence which shall be no less than six feet or more than 10 feet in height. Initially, the applicant requested a height for fences or walls not to exceed 14 feet in height, uh, which the planning board did not agree with and recommended the current maximum height for fences of 10 feet. Uh, town staff suggests modifying the proposed language to allow for chain link fences and or walls in the event an applicant wishes to enclose the wireless site with both options. Town staff also proposes an additional amendment to section 36-97, walls and fences, which creates an exception for walls or fences with uh, around telecommunication towers, their accessory equipment structures, and enclosures. Town staff, the following, uh, town staff suggests the following language uh, for wireless telecommunication sites, no wall or fence shall exceed 10 feet in height. This proposed language is necessary in order to be consistent with the proposed amendments to section 36-175 C2H. Uh, and finally, the applicant is also proposing to amend section 36-175 C2K to allow for legal notices, identifications, directional and informational signs erected or required by governmental bodies public utilities or civic associations with the approval of town council. Uh, the current ordinance does not allow wireless telecommunication sites to display any signage, logos, symbols, or any messages of a commercial or non-commercial uh, nature. The only sign that's currently required is signage that ident identifies the owner of the property in case there's an emergency, I mean, or the owner of the equipment. Uh, staff's recommendation for this application is that the town planning board recommended approval three to one of this ZTA and town staff recommends approval uh, and that the application is consistent with the town's currently adopted land use plan. Uh, you have a copy of the uh, applicant's 
information in your packets, um, as well as a few drawings. And there should have been a copy of the staff report in your uh, packets as well. If there are any questions, I'll be glad to try to answer those for you. And uh, a representative of the, for the Southern Shore Civic Association is present in case you have questions for him. For uh, we have questions, we have the president of the SSCA with us, Mr. Ross Mitchell. Do you have anything to add to this, Ross? Council. I want one question. Do you know what the uh, height of the equipment that the uh, that the um, provider will be um, putting in the enclosure? What is the maximum height they will be putting that equipment in? According to Ross, I believe there was to be if the wall is going to be 10 feet, if, if it were to be approved, and they were to have a 10-foot wall. It's so my understanding that the uh, equipment, the cabinets, as they're called, would be a little bit higher than that. Okay, so the cabinets would be viewable above the wall at a certain. I believe so. Point. Mr. Mitchell may be able to answer that more specifically, but I believe so. Okay. Then you have to incorporate the flood zone, um, also, depending on what the elevation of the property is at the site. So, and that would this would all be brought out in the conditional use permit application as well. Any other questions? No. I have no I uh, declare the public hearing open. Anybody out there wants to speak? You don't have to. It's signed up. The public hearing is closed. What's your pleasure, Council? I move that we uh, approve SSCA Wireless Ordinance ZTA-13-03. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion to approve and a second. All those, any further discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. It is done. We next turn our attention to Animal Boarding Facility, ZTA 1304, and we turn again to our planner. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this application, ZTA 1304, is an application for Mr. Frederick Cardenas uh, to allow for uh, animal boarding facilities, amendment of section 3657, definition of specific terms and words, 36-163, off-street parking requirements, in section 36207C, General Commercial District. Uh, I was informed this morning that the applicant will not be able to attend today. Uh, he will not be here to answer any questions. So uh, as town staff, we would recommend that we table this application until the time he can be present. Um, but you all could certainly move forward if you wish, but we recommend that we wait and table this application until he can be present. Did he indicate when he might be available? I tried returning his call, and I have not heard back from him. I would recommend August 6th, uh, unless he says otherwise, when I do speak with him. Okay. I have a question kind of related to that. Yeah. Um, in fact, I spoke briefly with Wes about this this morning. In the past, <clears throat> it seems to me that we have, um, when we've had conditional uses, we hear the applicant come in, present the conditional use, and we approve it all at one time. And um, I guess when I was talking to Wes, he indicated that's possible if we want to do it that way. Or we can do this separate, approve the zoning amendment, and then later approve the conditional use. And the only reason I raise the question is we approved adding the events usage, and now we don't have an event site applicant that we know of coming yet. So I guess my question is would we be better off at the same, when he comes in, that we actually review it? He has his application submitted, and we approve it all at that time. If council wishes, we could certainly move forward in that manner. With we, any we can future, do that. With any oh, future yeah. applications, we could easily do that. Because there are questions we had before mm -hmm. in this, so maybe if you're just approving the whole thing, and by that time he's ready to apply, he knows what's going on, could answer all of our questions, and we can say, yeah, we do want to do it, or no, we don't. Sure. If you save time. If this is council's yes. wishes, we'd be glad to make sure future <clears throat> applications are, are conducted in that manner. Okay. Council, shall we table this? Yes. yes. I yes. guess we need a motion to table. I make a motion to table animal boarding facilities. 
facility ZTA 13-04. We have a second. Second. Okay, it is table. Thank you. Anybody signed up to speak? No public comment? No old business? No new business? Mr. Manager? Mr. Mayor, just a short, short report today. Um, I want to report to you that the repair list uh, section of the capital improvement plan that you adopted for this fiscal year is now, um, we, excuse me, we've been working on that for last week and we are developing a uh, bid package for the uh, repair list portion as we speak. And there are certain areas in town that are marked with spray paint um, on streets and that's for that, prep in preparation for that bid process. Um, also, uh, Chief Cole and I are meeting with the architect on the uh, building uh, addition for training room at the police department. We've met once um, since adoption of the budget, and of course he's met several times with him prior to that. So we are proceeding with that project to try to get some numbers and I'll go ahead with that project. So those are the two things I want to report to you on today since last meeting. Can I ask you one question? Yes, on the repair list, is it the whole repair list or are you doing a portion of it right now? Or I've no, seen the drawings. We're or? putting out the whole list the whole to see list. what okay. we get back. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Good, thank you. That's, that's my report, Mr. Mayor. Oh. oh, it's the mayor's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it just occurred to me, I meant to share this with uh, the town manager yesterday, but I have talked to uh, directly with seven of the ten residents, seven of the nine residents on Tall Pine Lane, and it's been it's seven to nothing in favor of removing that tree at the entry of Tall Pine. So I think, manager, you can remove that tree and not expect any objection for the residents from Tall Pine. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I mentioned that, Council, in case you get the call. The tree is long past due to come down. I understand uh, that we have uh, a candidate for mayor, Mr. Kowalski, and a candidate for council, Mr. Leo Howland. Congratulations to two who have stepped forward. It's great. That's all I have. Mayor Pro Tem? I don't have anything. Candidate? I'm upset, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> David? I, um, I also spoke to the people in uh, Tall Pine some time ago, and it's, I don't know, I didn't think I got seven zero. I six and I got six zero so uh, okay. everybody wants it down I just wish that the uh, the bridge people when they fix the bridge take it down there but the, but anyway it's not a problem it's fine so David whatever. nothing uh, I have nothing Mr. Mayor thank you mm -hmm. council I move that we enter into closed session pursuant to in North Carolina general statute 143-318.11 per in a per in three to consult with the attorney in a matter preserving the attorney-client privilege and to review approved closed session minutes pursuant to North Carolina General Statute 143-318.11A1. And I need a second. I'll second it. And we're in closed session and we're in recess. Council, we're in open session. I turn to the town attorney for his advice. Um, Mr. Mayor, uh, I believe we would, the council was interested in discussing the acquisition of certain property. And to do that in closed session, someone will need to make a motion pursuant to NCGS 143-318.11A5 to instruct staff concerning a position to be taken on behalf of the town regarding the possible acquisition of an interest in real property 
at uh, 108 Duckwoods Drive, uh, that being Lot 14, Block 227A, as shown on that certain plat entitled Southern Shores, Block 227A, prepared by Bill Robbins and Associate Surveyors and recorded in Plat Cabinet C, Slides 1116E and 1116F of the Dare County Registry. If, if that motion is appropriate, someone... I so move. Second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. We're in closed session. Council, we return to open session. We turn to the town attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, to ensure that uh, temporary public works projects can use property within the town in various areas to support those projects, um, I would suggest uh, that you uh, pass a motion to direct staff to prepare an ordinance and go through the planning board process and bring to you uh, for a public hearing in the following months uh, that does just that. So moved. Okay, do we have a second on that? Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, same side. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. We have a second. I'll second. We're adjourned. And we've got a second.